having a plan versus following a plan, right? You know, the, the sayings go, um, you know, it's, it's, it's one thing to have a plan. Um, you know, even a piss poor plan is better than no plan at all. Um, which I think there's probably is some truth to that. But on the other side, the flip side of that, it's one thing to say that you have a plan and to have a plan. And it's another to actually follow the plan and to follow the plan to a T. This last video, we just talked about how we measure. And uh, really, this, this is kind of a continuation of that conversation. And how are you executing on the plan? Are you casually executing it? Are you, uh, are you executing it with precision to the T? right? The way that it is drawn out to be. And uh, there's a thread inside of this group that I'm a part of um, with my nutrition and health and nutrition coach. And and sometimes they're talking about, uh, lately there was a, a thread going on about, you know, how sometimes they hit these plateaus or, and then, and then their body eventually will just get to a point where it just like shreds weight. Right. And, uh, Morrow came in as he often likes to do and, and kind of sets us back on the straight and narrow and uh, gets us back on path. But he, because he's like, you know, there's many of you in here that, that, that might say, just like this gentleman said that, you know, Hey, I've been following the plan. You know, sometimes I, you know, it, the progress isn't straight up and down. It's more, you know, a gradual decline. And that's just kind of how my body is designed. And, and, and he says, oftentimes, you know, when he looks at the numbers, uh, they're not consistently hitting exactly their steps. They're not consistently getting the right amount of sleep that they need to be. Their calories aren't precise in what they're reporting. Uh, they're not precisely hitting the, their macronutrients every day. Uh, they're not maybe they're skipping a workout from time to time or they're skipping portions of the workout, right? The, the, what he's saying is they're not executing the plan 100%. He says, very rarely is it that someone is executing the plan 100% that doesn't see incredible, continuous, consistent results. The ones that often are more of a flat line or a gradual decline are the ones that are following the plan, have a plan, but are not, are not executing that plan with precision, executing it 100% to the T every single day, consistently, day after day, time after time. And so if you have a plan, that's better than no plan at all, but execute on it. Execute the plan, especially if you have a plan that's proven that works, that has results in case studies from hundreds, if not thousands of people before you, you know that it's not the plan, it's you. If you're not getting the results that you want, if you're not getting the results that you want in the amount of time that you would like, right? So take a hard look at the mirror, as I always like to say, and uh, are you following the plan with precision? consistently over a long period of time. If not, let's go. You know what to do.